Hello, hello. Welcome back to the amazingness that is the Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. Last time, we completed all the quests we needed to complete. And now the story's picking up. There has been a robbery at the mayor's house. Okay, maybe it's not picking up that much, but it's something. So first, my first task is to not start a new game, but to load my old game. Yes. Success! Let's continue. Also, we're with Sherazard now. She's traveling with us, and hopefully she'll be a good teammate. As far as I learned the last time I played, she was pretty good. We're gonna have fun. We're going to go back into that forest that messed me up a lot. But I'm a lot more confident this time around. It's a lot better with three people. <sighs> It's gonna be fun. Well, let's... Yeah. Let's test. Test how good she is. Whoops. We'll attack. Oh, we should have attacked the bug. Oh, well. Whatever. Dirty damage. Watch this. Boom! Yeah, good job. Good job chanting like that. And it's her turn already. Oh, are we done already? Yep, we're done already. Not bad, Charizard. Not bad. Oops. Since we're here, might as well. Might as well get Joshua leveled up. Can I attack this one? I can. Boom. How's that for cool? And then we can just... Okay, never mind. Don't worry about it. Strength up. Oh. Level up. That's that. Let's move out. Level up right off the bat. All right. Joshua is very strong now. Beat everyone. Just every enemy beaten. Mistwall. That is our destination, I believe. Unless something changed. And no, we have to we went to the wrong forest. You have to go to the forest across the way. Next to the to the volcano. So this is Misswald, huh? Can you tell us anything, Shara? You've been here to Misswald. Why are you asking? Oh, forget it. Someone came through here, all right. From what I can see, a number of people passed through here not long ago. I'd wager Mira we're on the right track. How can you be so sure? Because tracking fugitives is an essential skill for bracers. Anyway, let's check the woods. Be sure to keep your voices low. Roger that. Understood. Take these this person out. We have our suspicions that it's the blue haired chick. What do you think? Is it blue haired chick? I forgot her name, like Jeanette or something. Ha! Oh, I love how much damage we're doing. Feels good. Taking out these bees so easily. Let's move out. 
next level up is a, a little long ways away. But that's fine. Can't see much. Are you bad? Are you a bad cloud? Let's go this way. I think we've been... Yeah, we opened this chest already. How about over here? No, that's a dead end. It's a pretty sweet dead end. There's always this way. There's a nice bee there. There's that. Oh, darn it. Alright, you got me. Oh. <laughs> well, guess what? I don't think so. Yeah, preemptive attack this time. The losers. Bonus critical! Awesome! You're the best, Estelle. Do what Sherizard just did. Defeat it in one hit. Let's see how much he does on this thing. Ooh! gonna explode though. Oh no, it's alive still. One HP. Yeah. That's fun. Hey, at least he healed. God. I hate you sometimes, Joshua. Okay. I forgot. It's a little hard to hit these things. I forgot. Forgive me. God. Forgive me. Heh. <laughs> At least they do zero damage. Pew! That was a lot of XP. Alright, let's get her. This Janet person. Oh, there's those guys again. Remember those guys? Ugh. Darn it. Uh, I don't think so. If they didn't explode, I'd, I'd love to fight them. But they explode. Explode on me. Go away. This is my age forest. And here we go. Let's stop her. Assuming this is the right place. It was the tree! No. I bet this tree, this section will be useful soon, just not now. Can we cut across that way? No. Well, maybe we can still. Yay, there we go. This is the way we have to go. See? Told ya. Wish I could... S Darn it! Surprise attack! Yay! Oh my god. That's a cool added, added effect there. New effect! Your party members can be put to sleep now. Have fun! Maybe this way. Here we go. This is the right way. I guess? I don't know. <gasps> Cutscene? There she is. Heh <laughs> heh, that was too easy. 
and to think that something as exquisite as this fell into my hands with almost no effort. Wait till Don and Kyle hear about this. You surprised me, that's for sure. The way you pulled off that axe wearing a, that school uniform was simply astounding. Just what you would, you'd expect from the mademoiselle of an ex-aristocratic family. Yeah, yeah, but what's in the past is in the past. But it certainly doesn't hurt that in this outfit I can deceive almost every anyone. That gullible mare and that dim-witted bracer girl. Idiots, the whole lot of them. Is this Flowey? Flowey's friend. What was that? Calm down, let's just see what else they have to say. Uh... Sure, let's listen in. Maybe they'll tell us, like, some secrets. That we weren't supposed to hear. Fine, but I'm not happy about this. Yeah, but that girl seemed pretty tough. I mean, she took care of all the monsters that appeared in the mine. The mine? Oh, so you're the one who screwed up their job. If you had just done it like you were supposed to, I wouldn't have had to put a monkey show on to get this thing. M my apologies. Eh, forget about it. All's well that ends well. At any rate, those two kids being bracers was an absolute joke. Especially that brainless bimbo. She honestly believed that we could be friends. What a freaking moron. I had to try so hard just to keep from laughing. Wahaha, how stupid can she be? Now oh, that is rich. Ha <laughs> ha ha ha. It's just so absurd. What's so funny? It's you guys. Yep, it's the brainless bimbo and her absolute joke of a bracer partner. And this probably won't come as a surprise, but we're going to beat you up now. What? Bracers? How do they find... You did, a, you did a fine job stealing that septium from the mayor's residence, but it looks like you were a little careless in the end. In accordance with the laws of the Bracer Guild, you are hereby under arrest and charged with breaking and entering, vandalism, and burglary. It would be in your best interests not to resist, but I'm sure es but I'm sure Estelle is hoping you will. This doesn't look good. What are we going to do now, Josette? How about you quit quaking in your boots for starters? These bracers are nothing more than a ragtag group of kids. I think it's time we showed them the real strength of the Kapua family. Who are you calling us kids? Oh, who are you to be calling us kids? You, you brat! I had it up to here, and I'm going to do something about it right now. Hi, that's my line. <gasps> All right, boys, get him. Roger that. My pleasure. Understood. Oh boy. That traitor. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, let's see. Let's go hit him hard, like immediately. Oh, critical. We should attack them. We should attack them. Okay, these these guys are a little tough. But let's use another art. Ooh, airstrike, that's a new one. Ow! So blur Airstrike! Joseph's preparing to use art. Uh oh. Uh. Take out this guy next. Strength up. We'll attack normally then. Stop it! That didn't work. Take! Uh. I guess. Aqua bleed? Sure, why not? Aqua bleed. On this guy. Ow. Oh, strength up, of course. Petrify breath! Don't petrify me. Ow. 
Ooh, critical hit. Boom. Uh, no. No art. Attack this guy normally. Attaboy. How about you do an art now? Siphon Guard. Fireball. I guess attack this guy normally. Oh yeah, strength up. Boom. Ouch. Uh, art. So blur again. It seemed to work so well last time. Uh oh. She's going for me, so oh, I can't even use that. Well, I can use this. Fire breath. Is it still dead? Don't die. Ooh. All right, we're gonna heal her now. Definitely. You attack this guy. Heal! Ouch. Oh boy, always preparing to use those arts. Now. No! How dare you. Joke's on you. He's healed up as well. Huh. Oh. Joshua's defense is so bad. Almost got him. Alright, try again. Header this time. There you go. And as for you, yeah. Oh, we gotta use a skill on him. This is never gonna end anyway. Look at that, immediately using her arts. Soul Blur. Uh, she's pinging her if she's gonna keep it healing her friend. Art, uh, stone hammer. Ouch. She's dizzy. Uh oh, petrify breath. A critical hit too. Oh. I think she's stone. Great. You are down. Good job. Oh, tear on herself. Oh, that's sweet damage. All healed up. I'm Thaw! Ooh, that did a lot. Uh, can I use this? Let's try this. Someone's been naughty. Oh boy. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I heal. No. Sorry, Estelle, but you're frozen forever. Finish her! Uh, 
good to go. Woohoo! We're the best. How in the world? You had enough yet? That's what you get for taking bracers lightly. And we'll be taking this back if you don't mind. Thank you very much. Receive Septium Crystal. Hey, that Septium belongs to me. No, not to you. To the people of Roland, that too. The sheer nerve you have to say something like that is astounding. Now that we got the crystal back, how about we move on to confession time? That's an interesting name you mentioned. The Kapua family, was it? Me and my big mouth. I have absolutely no idea what you are talking about. So you want to be a tough egg to crack, do you? I don't mind at all. In fact, I like them that way. Ah! What are you trying to do? That's a dangerous thing to be swinging around like that. Well, if you can't answer with your mouth, then maybe your body can answer instead. But don't worry, I'll be extra gentle. Eek! Get away from me, you crazy witch! I think Cher is enjoying this. Let's just sit back and enjoy the show. Look out, Shara! An orbital gun? Are you alright, Shara? I'm fine, forget about me. Look at that! What? Whoa... An airship. An airship? Ha 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 ha, looks like the tables are turned in our favor now, aren't they? Are you okay, Josette? Kyle, you're late. Where have you been? Oh, never mind. Just hurry up and give up. Give us a hand. No can do. Our push into the Roland region has been put on hold. Something big came up in the Bose region while you were away. What's that supposed to mean? I don't have time to explain. Hurry and hop on or I'll have to leave you behind. Crap. Just where do you think you're going? We'll pick this up another day, and don't think you've won either. Payback's gonna be a beast. Later. We'll get her back. We'll get her back tenfold. I'm sure what I sure wasn't expecting anything like that to come out of the woodwork. Ha ha ha. It looks like they caught us all it looks like they caught us all off guard. This isn't a laughing matter. Right now I'm so frustrated I don't even know what to think. Well, on the bright side, we did get the Septium Crystal back. Switching gears, that group sure looked to me like a bunch of sky bandits. Yes, they certainly seem of that variety. It also sounds like they've made the Bose region their base of operations as well. I certainly wouldn't have expected a group like that to travel all the way to a rural place like Roland. I couldn't care less if they were Sky Bandits or Brigands. The next time I see that scruffy lying jerk of a tomboy, I'm gonna thwap bam kapow her. What's thwam bam kapow supposed to mean? The crystal stolen was recovered. Turn it to the mayor, Estelle and the others return to the guild to report the details. Success! Looks like you had a rough day. Who'd have thought the Sky Bandits would appear? I don't blame you for letting them escape. No, this time it was my fault. I should have been more careful. I'm really far from being in the same league as Cassius. It's not your fault, Shara. I let my emotions get the best of me, and I was careless as well. No, you guys did a great job. I'd even give you a passing grade for your on-site investigation of the mayor's residence. Don't you think you should recommend them, Aina? Yes, I was thinking the same thing as well. Recommend? What do you mean? Hold your horses. First comes the payment for a job well done. Yeah! Lots of monies, lots of BP. This is for you both, and take this as well. Recommendation. This is... As of now, you are both Junior Bracers. In other words, bracers in training. In order to become senior bracers, you need to receive recommendations from all regional branches in the kingdom. This is your recommendation from the Roland branch. Is it really okay for us to have this? 
I had heard that in order to become a full-fledged bracer, we need to achieve something fairly noteworthy. I think in light of the jobs performed in your father's stead, and your great showing here, your achievements are sufficient. However, those achievements are only for your work here in Roland. You'll need to receive recommendations from the other regional branches after achieving success there as well. Bose, Ruan, Zeese, and finally, Grantsil. You still got a long road ahead of you. Even so, I'm really happy. It was all worth it was worth all the hard work. Now that we come this far, don't you think we should visit the other regions too, Joshua? I figured you'd say as much. I agree with you, but we can't decide this spot all by ourselves. We should discuss it with Dad when he gets home. Right. <gasps> ding 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 ding. Oh, that's the telephone, right? Hello, this is the Bracer Guild Roland Branch in the Liberal Kingdom. Ah, it's been a while since we last talked, hasn't it? I see. Are you sure? That's terrible. I wonder if something happened. It looks that way to me. Ah yes, that's right. He left on business the other day. What? I apologize, but this is a little difficult to believe. Understood. I'll pass on the news to his family. Oh, is this the news where I'm expect expected to get? They'll be fine. They're bracers, too. Yes, and if you hear anything else, please let me know. What's wrong, Ina? It's unnatural. It's unusual for you to be so surprised like that. Who was calling? The Bose read the Bose branch. Something terrible has happened. The airliner, Linde has disappeared over the Bose region. What? How was that possible? I don't know any of the details, but the Royal Army is currently conducting a wide-scale search. Due to this event, all other flights have been postponed. Well, that explains the backup in the landing port. And... Ina? Estelle? Joshua? Please brace yourselves. Your father, Cassius was aboard the airliner, which went missing. What? Impossible! There's got to be some kind of mistake. It seems his name was on the passenger list. Liberal Bracer Guild, Roland Branch Senior Bracer, Cassius Wright, 45. My dad! The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. Prologue! The prologue is now over. A father's love, a new beginning. And save. I thought we were on chapter one for a while, but guess not. And now the game begins, I guess. Our father is missing and we must find him. Dot, dot, dot. Estelle, are you in there? Joshua, dinner's ready. Just to let you know, we'll be having roasted basil chicken and onion soup gratin. That sounds so good. I'll come down later, so why don't you go... So why don't you two go on ahead and eat? Alright. Well, make sure to come down before your food gets cold. Oh, Cher is with us. The Wheel of Fortune card, again. Something really is going on. I just can't see what it is. <laughs> Where's Estelle? She said to go ahead and eat without her. She just doesn't, she didn't seem to have an appetite. I see. She took the news a lot better than I thought she would. It's not surprising she doesn't want to come out of her room. Seeing as how close she is with her father, I agree. So what do you think about all of this, Shara? Is this is it an accident or an incident? To be honest, I couldn't say either way. Your dad is a top-notch bracer when it comes to crisis management. He's the best there is. Whichever it is, if your father happens to be there, it'll be resolved. But the fact is, an airliner along with your father has gone missing. In other words, 
what you're trying to say is that things that shouldn't have happened happened, right? Don't lose heart on me now. You need to be a shout wall of support and bear us still up. I'll get to work tomorrow and see what I can find out. Man, it sure smells good down here. I can't stand it any longer. Hi. Huh? Excuse me. Estelle, are you okay? I'm so hungry I thought I was gonna pass out. Oh, this looks good. Note. Bon appetit. Aren't you two having any? This is great. The basil flavor really comes out when you roast it. You sure know how to cook, Joshua. Well, well, thanks. Come on, Shara, don't you just sit there too. Don't you want to drink some of my dad's brandy from a secret stash? I'm pretty sure there's a bottle of Stein Rose that's about 20 years old in there. Did you say Stein Rose? And 20 years old too? Shara, what do you think you're doing? Uh, sorry, Estelle. I'm going to have to pass this time. Oh boy, I'm having yawning fits. By the way, what were you doing up in your room? You didn't come down even after Joshua called you for supper. Huh? Oh right. I was just cooking for some ex I was just looking for some extra underwear. I was having a bit of trouble finding one of my favorites because it was stuffed in the back of one of the drawers. Uh, underwear? Oh, and a set of gear for traveling. I mean, who knows how long we'll be gone. So I figure as long as we're prepared, we have nothing to worry about. Uh... So what you're saying is, you intend to head to Boast to find your father. Well, duh, that's a no-brainer. And while I can't imagine anything bad happening to him, despite his horrible luck, waiting around just doesn't suit me. So I'm gonna go check things out for myself. Haha, <laughs> you really are something else. Whether it's your positive attitude or thick skin, I can't say, but... Wah, you're so rude, Joshua. But you are coming along too, right? Of course. However, it looks like all airliner flights have been cancelled until the army finishes their search. It seems like the only way to Bose is on foot. Walk to Bose, huh? Wonder how long that's gonna take. For a bracer on foot, if they hurry, they can make it there in about half a day. But if that's the route you're taking, that makes things easy. I think I'll tag along as well. Really? You'll come with us? But aren't you busy with a bunch of other jobs? Hey, I trained under, under your father, right? Did you honestly think I'd just sit here when something could have happened to the person I owe so much to? I'm going to take Aina. I'm going to talk to Aina and have her pass my jobs at the guild to another member. Shara. We, re we really appreciate this, Shara. You really shouldn't be thanking me. I just can't leave a job as big as this up to a bunch of newbies. I hate to say it, but you're probably right. Oh well, since Shara's along for the ride now, I do feel a bit more confident. We appreciate you coming with us. Hee <laughs> hee, myself as well. Anyway, let's make sure to drop by the guild tomorrow morning before we leave. I'll need to explain the situation to Aina. Chapter 1. Disappearance of the Linde. Legend of Heroes. Trails in the Sky. Oh boy. I understand the situation now. To be frank though, with Sherazard taking off after Cassius, I'm going to be really short-handed. But since this involves him directly, please don't worry about anything. I really appreciate this, Aina. Make good use of Ridge while we're gone. He should be able to deal with at least three times his normal workload. Don't you think that's a bit harsh? Don't worry, if things get too hectic, I'll ask for help from the Gransel branch. By the way, Sherazard, can I get a minute? I'd like to talk with you about the job you are going to do. Sure, no problem. Estelle, Joshua, can I have you two wait upstairs? I'll be done in a minute. Understood. Uh, Shara? If we're going to be waiting, would you mind if we did it out in front of the clock tower? I'd like to say hi to someone. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, then let's meet up in front of the clock tower. As soon as I'm done here, I'll head over there myself. Got it! Come on, Joshua. Uh, sure. Who will we be talking to? 
that boy there? The rooster? Septian calendar. One, uh, 1075. Erected in partnership with the liberal royal family, Septian Church, and Roland City. Uh, blah blah blah. Destroyed during the Hundred Days War when Roland was bombarded by the Erbonian Imperial Army. Rebuilt with the cooperation of the citizens of Roland. Every time I see this clock tower, I, I always think. They sure did a superb job restoring it after the war. You can sure feel the spirit of Roland, Roland's people from this. Estelle? Um, Joshua? What do you think about going out with me and waiting until Shara shows up? You mean the clock tower? Sure, I don't mind. Okay, come on. Ah, what a nice view. You can see the pub down there. The morning air is so refreshing. Hey, look, Joshua. We can see the house from here. You're right, I can see the roof. But, do you want to tell me what's going on since you've always avoided coming up here? I was under the impression that you didn't like this place. <gasps> Serious music time. I like this place, but I just can't casually come up here. Because this is the place where my mom died. What? Uh-oh. Ten years ago, during the war, when the Imperial Army surrounded Roland, they bombarded the symbol of the city, the clock tower, to try to get the citizens to surrender. This was at the time Dad was fighting in the Royal Army. I wanted to see who he was fighting against, so I climbed up the clock tower. And when the bombardment started, I couldn't get away. Uh-huh. Aww. When I came to, I had I hardly had a scratch on me. My mother had saved me. I was wrapped tightly in her arms, shielded from the rubble. And as I cried, she sang my favorite lullaby. But when they finally dug us free... After the war ended, and this place had been rebuilt, I avoided coming here for the most part. It's not because I have painful memories of this place, though. It's just when I come here, part of me wants so much to draw on her strength. Plus, I felt that I can't be strong like her if I'm always trying to rely on her. Estelle. But today is okay, right? Relying on her just this once? Asking her to bring Dad home safely? Asking her to protect him? Of course it is. And don't worry, Dad's safe for sure. Your mother's protecting him, so there's no doubt in my mind that he's safe. And if he happens to be in a bit of trouble, then you can come to his rescue. Just like your mother did for you. You can do the same for your dad. And don't forget, I'm here to help you too. Joshua, I know I can't completely understand everything you've been through, but I can stay here by your side as I am now. And if you need a shoulder to cry on, you'll al you've always got mine. So... Huh? Ha 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 ha! Joshua, you're trying too hard. You shouldn't say things like that so lightly. Well, what do you mean? If I were any other girl, I would have totally have misinterpreted your intentions just now. You are seriously the type who's going to have problems with romantic relationships in the future. I'm already starting to get worried. Well, excuse me for trying to be nice. Why do you have to be like that when someone is so is genuinely worried about you? Thanks for cheering me up, Joshua. I feel a lot better now. I guess as long as I get some kind of thanks, it was worth looking like a complete fool. But you are s unbelievable. Mumble. Mumble. Don't be so mad. I'm really grateful, believe it or not. So how about we get down from here, huh? I'm sure Cher is waiting for us. You're probably right. Let's go. New region. Mom, I finally realized why I wanted to become a bracer. It's so I could become strong and protect others just like you. So please watch and see. I won't fail to bring Dad home safe again. I hope you're right. Aw, the two of you had such a cute scene going on up there. 
why my cheeks even feel a bit hot just thinking about it. What's that supposed to mean? You are spying on us? Give me some credit, will you? I just happened to see you when I looked up to check on th the time. I sure wish I had an orbital camera to get a shot of that view. Come on. What are you trying to say, Shara? That's called family bonding, plain and simple. It's kind of like your habit of hugging everyone after your third bottle of wine. Uh, let's not get into that. What's with the sigh? You really don't know how to take a joke, do you? Well, whatever. Did you say hi to Lena while you were up there? Yeah. I even asked for her to watch over Dad. I see. Then I guess it looks like you're all set. You know, Lena's protection is equal to that of the goddess herself. Your dad's safety is pretty much guaranteed. I think you may be giving her a little too much credit. Now that you mention it, you met Estelle's mother before, right, Shara? Yeah, when I was a child. I was still in a troop at the time. A troop? Yeah, a troop in a traveling circus. Shara was a dancer. Although it was a long time ago when we first met. When we first met, she came to Roland with the circus. Twelve years ago, to be exact, I was eleven and Estelle was four. And because of that chance encounter, when I became a bracer, I trained under your father. I didn't know that. Maybe I should tell you about it sometime when I get a chance. Are you are you about ready to head out for Bose? Which air with airliner flights cancelled, we'll just have to make our way to Bose the old-fashioned way. By foot. First, we'll need to make our way to the Verte Bridge checkpoint, which sits on the border of the Bose region. The Verte Bridge is located at the west end of the Milch Main Road. It looks like we're all set, so let's go! Oof. Craziness. Crazy stuff. I think Shara might be younger than me. Ugh, I'm feeling really old now. But finally, though, our journey's beginning. After one of the longest prologue, if not the longest prologue, I have ever been in. What are you doing, by the way? You've been just wandering around here this entire time. Oh, it's Estelle. You going somewhere? Something like that. I'll be away from Roland for a while. Don't cry yourself to sleep while I'm gone. Shut up. Who's gonna cry themselves to sleep over you? But you do know when you'll be. Do you know when you'll be coming back? I have no idea. Oh. I think he likes me. This little kid. Who's this? Hello, Ellie. I waffled back and forth for a bit, but in the end, I decided to go with him to the Queen's birthday celebration as a couple. My mother is already going with her friends. I'm sorry, Mother, but I want to go with him. How about you? Person. Estelle, Joshua, are you really headed to Bose? Ah ha ha, I should have guessed you'd know. You're always one of the first to hear everything. There's a little something we need to check on, so that's why we're headed to Bose. Not only is Cassius gone, but now you two are leaving? Ah, oh, I want to tag along. Joshua, take me with you. I, uh, don't think that would be a good idea. But I'm concerned about other incidents happening. I get so worried. End sentence. End conversation. Pigeons! Sorry. Just gonna check. Oh, there's a new mission. Oh, gotta do it. Maybe. Oh, I'm looking for someone to deliver a personal letter to a colleague of mine in Bose. We can do this. Who are you? Lately, my father-in-law has been giving me job advice. Coming from in blah, 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 I don't care. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. Hello! Is it you who needs the letter? Oh, this is it. She wanted to send Father Holstein a letter, but the airliners are grounded. So how about it? Can I get you to deliver this letter while you're there in Bose? Accept! Sure, we'll do it. It shouldn't be a problem since the letter's not that big to begin with. I really appreciate this. Alright then, here you are. So all we need to do is give this letter to Father Holstein in Bose, right? 
Yes, the chapel is on the east side of Bow City, so it should be fairly easy to locate. Traveling, traveling around other regions and broadening your knowledge is food for the mind. I pray that the goddess will guide you on your journey. Before I go, I really have to say goodbye to something in this town. Goodbye, sewers. You are a great source of healing for me. One more time for the road? Nah, yeah, better not. Oh! Ooh! Isn't this a tricky monster? This monster is just tired of me. I don't care. I don't care what you have to say. But yeah, goodbye, sewers. You were fun. We're out of here. Goodbye, town. We'll miss you. Goodbye, little girl who knows everything before anyone else. Goodbye, Milch Main Road. Goodbye, flying rat monsters. And good riddance plant things. Something tells me we'll be seeing more, but... We sing goodbye to the plant monsters of this region. Should we visit the farm? Nah, we're good. Just keep going. We got a place to get to. We got a whole new city. New people to say hi to. It's gonna be fun. <coughs> I'm excited. What is that? Hey, hold still. What are you? Oh, I think I remember these. Okay. Let's see if we can beat him. Attack guard. CP heal. You know what? Uh, we'll see how much damage they do and if they really hurt us, then we'll do our our big moves. That's not much. Whoa, that one's running. And that one fled. Huh. No, 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 no. No, don't do that. Now! How'd he get healed? <laughs> Funny. Later. Ooh. Uh, we're good to go. Oh, wow. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. They drop a lot of gems and a lot of EXP. If you see those, attack them. Okay. If you see these, attack them as well, because they're they're horrible. I'm gonna do it. They attacked me, so I'm gonna do the same thing to them. <laughs> Charizard will attack that one. Estelle will finish that one off. You'll attack that one. Charizard will finish that one off. You boom. Yeah, we're getting a lot less XP from those guys now. Verte Bridge. We're here. Fun. We get to cross the bridge finally. Can we cross? Hello there, are you headed for Bose? We are, but how did you know we weren't just visiting again? Well, a number of people like yourselves have been passing through lately. Yes, exponentially more than usual. Is it because flights have been suspended in the airship over Bose? 
That's exactly what's happened. You wouldn't believe how busy this place is because of it. Well, the Royal Army is responsible for all the restricted flights. So you're really not in a position to complain. Yeah, I guess you're right about that. Oh, and, and another thing. Traffic through this checkpoint is also being regulated. If you want to get go through here, you'll have to get a pass from the Chief Warrant Officer next door. Okay. What's that mean? Do I go in here? In this place? Hello? Well, if it isn't Estelle, and Joshua too. Hello, Mr. Ashton. And this is Sherazard, if I remember correctly, right? Good afternoon, sir. We'd like to cross over into the Boast region, so we were wondering about getting a pass. Let me guess, that has something to do with Belinde, isn't it? Yeah. Explains that Cassius was aboard. Goodness, Cassius was aboard. This is major. I'll issue you a pass right away. Thank you, sir. But is it alright if you issue us a pass just like this? What are you talking about? I know you kids by face. And as a member of the Royal G Army, I should do my best to cooperate with the Bracer Guild. Oh, but one other thing. Huh? Be careful if you have any errands at the Hacken Gate north of here. You might want to hide your identities as Bracers there. What do you mean? I'm sorry, but I can't say any more about the matter. But if you do intend to investigate the incident, please do so with discretion. I pray to Adios for Cassius' safe return. Hmm. Something mysterious is happening. Let's go! Alright, we got one! Well, that was quick. Okay then, how about I open the gate for you? I thought it would be like... If you want this pass, you'll have to collect three items for me. One in this region, one in that region, and one in this region. They're guarded by ferocious monsters and... Uh, never mind. Alright, you're clear to go on through. Once you cross over, you won't be able to come back unless you get a pass from the other side. Please be aware of that before you cross. Got it! Is there anything else I should do? Nah. Let's go! Crossing the bridge. Crossing the bridge. Hello, hello. Hi, are you headed to Bose? We are currently in a state of emergency. We are looking for any suspicious individuals among those headed from Bose to Roland. Asian Road, which runs north off the East Bose Highway, is blockaded right now. For those headed to the north border, they'll have to go to Bose first and then wait until the roads reopen. Ah, forget it. Let's go. To Bose! Huzzah! Let's see, check out the map. Straight, straight forward, East Bose Highway. Nebel Valley, that will be going there for some kind of mission. But for now, let's just enjoy this nice walk. This is a very nice place. Oh, is that a new monster? Oh, these are new monsters. Let's get acquainted with them. Mushroom Snake. Ooh. <coughs> Alright. You let the monsters know that Joshua is good at missing. Thank you for that. There we go. As for this monster, Mad Roper. Let's take the Mad Roper out. Alright, that's this isn't too bad. For now. That's that. Don't Let's get too out. don't get too cocky. You missed. Go through one stream. Actually, there's another new monster there. Hello, Mr. Mole. Yep, Halo Mole. Oh dear. Is Master Chief gonna come out and protect it and protect him? 
Nope. Not today. We're good to go. We're good to go. We're almost gonna level up thanks to that pom pom thing. Oh, look at that. That's a big one. What do you think? Hello? Shh. Oh. Exterminate, I guess. Should we? Let's go for it. Oh, there's two of them. There's, uh, not two. Four of them. I can count. I'm not confident just yet. How about... We'll see how much damage I do to one. Alright, Charizard. All up to you. Goodbye. We'll get, we'll get you back. We'll be back. Nebul Valley. Someday. Maybe even this stream will go there. I don't know how much longer I'll play today, but I at least want to explore Bose. Darn it. Oh, what does this have? This, this path. Okay, ready? Gotta go up. Whee! Oh. Snake! Snake, a snake, snake! done already. Get crazy lady. But there's chests along the road. What's that headed this way? Ooh, cargo. Ah. Well, if it isn't Charizard, how have you been? Fine, I haven't seen you in a while either. What are you up to? As you can see, I'm doing an escort job. I'm sure that you've heard about... I'm sure that you've heard about all the airliners being grounded after the Linde incident, right? Because of that, we have to move all this cargo to the Royal City by ground transport. I see. Well, your efforts are appreciated. So how about yourself? What are you doing with these youngsters? Don't tell me you're looking into the incident. That was the plan. Why? Do you know something that we should be aware of? Well, I think it would be best if you spoke with Lagran about it at the Boast Branch. Anyway, I've got to get going. Catch you later! Seems like a nice guy. First Mr. Ashton and now him. Everyone keeps hinting at something, but no one will just come out and say it. I wonder what's up. Well, there must be a good reason for it, and we'll probably find our answers at the Boast Branch. Agreed. If we do as he suggests and ask Legrand about it, we may just get a clue as to what's going on. Anyway, let's get moving. Yeah. That was an interesting scene. I bet there's a point to it. Something really serious is going to happen. Like murder. Snake murder. I wonder how they got past all these snakes and monsters as well. I won't question it though. I think we're gonna have a level up in this battle. Something tells me. Alright. Sarah can use her big thing now. Level up! Feels good. Oh, it feels so good. Leveling up, I'm more powerful now. I can take on those scorpion things now. Easy. Alright. Well, oh, darn it. Wow, this is a... This is a long path. That's for sure. Is there like a secret chest there? No. Let's keep on going. The 
leaves are changing color in this region. It's very nice. Very pretty. Here's a big open area. Are there things in here? Oh, look at that. Spaceship? Is that a spaceship? It's a powerful one. That will attack and then it'll do like a thousand damage to me. Here you go, let's see how tough he is. Ooh. Twice? Miss. I was gonna say, you can attack twice? Let's use Joshua's craft. Just get out of here. Ooh, that was a big hit. And we'll use Shara's craft, why not? <laughs> Someone's been naughty. Don't tell a spaceship jellyfish that they've been naughty. Dad. Oh, are we done already? Yeah, we're done already. Man, she's weird. Oh, there's another Halo mole. Anything up here? No, no chests. Here we go, another path. Yep. Gah. Ooh, there's two paths here. Hecken Gate. Boast. Alright. To boast! I'm probably pronouncing been pronouncing it wrong this entire time, but you know what? Don't care. Let's just go. There it is. This looks just like a, a nice road. Yes, we're here. Bose. The North Block. I wonder if Bose is a big place. We finally made it here. This is the commercial city of Bose, which sits at the heart of the Bose region. Wow, this definitely looks like a city. Of the five major cities in Liberal, this one comes next after the Roland Royal City. Compared to Roland, the buildings are all made of stone and seem a lot bigger. Does anyone have any idea what that huge building is over there? That's the Bose Market. It's an indoor marketplace made up of various shops. Food, clothing, sundry goods, furniture, books, and so on. You can pretty much buy everything here with the exception of weapons and ornaments. What? We need weapons! It's not surprising that they call this place a commercial city. Man, I really wish this trip could have been for shopping. Maybe some other time. Let's first stop by the guild and find out what's going on regarding the incident. Oh, alright. Just so you know, the Braster Guild is right over there. Yeah, that's what you want to do, but I'm exploring. Ghost Marketplace, I know you. Huh? Dorothy, is that you? Wow, look at all the stuff they are selling here. I'm getting a kink in my neck. Just turning my head to try and take all of it in. She's so into her surroundings, it looks like she can't even hear you. Ha ha ha. Wow. Good on you, Dorothy. Hello there. My pal Buck has started raising, pr raising prices on his goods. But in light of the situation, I guess I can understand why. Although some of his prices seem a bit too high. What do you have? Rice, just the usual food stuff. I'm good. Who are you? Let's see, now what to do about today's side dish? Should I try to make something with meat, or should I try something with fish? Both. Both things. Can I talk to this person? Maybe? Thanks to the restrictions placed on everything by the army, nothing has gone right! When I think about the price of getting things in stock, I feel like my business is going to dry up. This guy is in a rather foul mood. 
No kidding. Airliner flights have been cancelled and the Eisen Road has been blockaded off. I'm sure it's not doing wonders for these merchants' businesses either. Very nice. Hello. Let's see. Now who's having a sale today? Where's my memo? I know I've got it written down somewhere. This is a nice fountain. Hello, puny child who looks like the girl from my town. Teehee, this is the first time I've ever been allowed to go on an errand all by myself. Um, let's see. Now what was I supposed to buy? Oh, she's gonna fail her mission, I bet. What can we shop? Uh, those boots could help Joshua out. And a red scarf would help everyone out. But you know what? We're gonna wait a little bit. I can handle the enemies pretty easily at the moment. Welcome! How about a fluffy, eggy sponge cake? It's a speciality here at Bo's Market. Wow, this looks so good, Joshua! Yeah, it does have a nice smell to it, doesn't it? Joshua, after we find Dad, let's come here and get one of these to eat together, okay? That's not a bad idea. Really? You'd better not forget about this later on, you hear me? I'll try to remember. Yeah, sponge cake, floral cake. Would be nice if we could see everything. It looks like a girl is running the confectionery shop now. Before it was some guy running this place, I wonder what happened to him. Who cares? Good day to you and welcome. I carry everything from antique books to textiles to daily necessities. Man, would you look at all this stuff? Mr. Rinon's general store has lots of stuff, but this one carries even more than he does. Yeah, it's pretty easy to see exactly why this store's here in the market. I stock a lot of imported goods from the Empire and the Republic, so I'm pretty confident about my selection. What do you got? Liberal News, Carnelia, Carnelia. Let's buy one of these. And let's buy... Something tells me I might need to read these. Yes. Can we read them now, I wonder? Uh, books. Oh, jeez. Recipe book, monster guide. Liberal news, issue two. Linde vanished over, oh yeah. I'll read those a bit later. Who are you? The book I'm after isn't here! Maybe I should try checking it... checking at another shop. But this is the best shop. I've been living in Bose my whole life, but this is the first time I've actually come to the market. How... is that possible? Where to start? There are goods in stores all over the place. And... <coughs> there's dust everywhere. You look like you're my age, and even older. How is this your first time here? Whoops. Good day and welcome! Hey there, you two. Have a look at my goods. I have everything you need. Eek! What the? This is so loud. My ears, they bleed. Well, this place is alive and bustling like everyone says. I wonder if it's like this all day. It is. People from all corners of Liberal gather here to grow their business and their eagerness and zeal is to succeed is nothing to be balked at. Alright, what about you, little boy? Tenatively speaking, I'm an employee here at the store. I help out my mother. I'm not playing around just in case you are wondering. Really? Looks like you're just walking back and forth. Oops. Uh, what do you have? There are knives. There are weapons here. You liar. You liar. Let's equip this new thing we got. Joshua. Pairing knives. Whoops. Uh, shop. And let's sell our old thing. And this too, I think. Hmm, 
this one's quite a catch. Is it, Mr. Stranger? Can I help you find something? My medicine can take care of almost any kind of ailment. So you sell medicine, huh? There seems to be almost anything one could ever want here at the Boast Market. That's for sure. The sheer amount of stuff for sale is pretty overwhelming. What do you got? Uh, medicines and stuff. K.O. Cures K.O. Pretty cool. Pretty nice place. I'm gonna get lost in this town, I bet. Ooh, look at this happy couple. One day, I'm gonna be a merchant and live in a big mansion. Good luck with that one. If you haven't noticed, not every merchant can live in a big home. You look just like Luke, the boy we help rescue. Huh. Whatever. What's this way? The south block. Ooh, we're in a whole different place. Well, let's... Let's not get too excited. Let's enter this house. Hello. Woo! I wonder if my husband's business is doing well. It's doing amazingly. Oh, there's no camera here. Hello. My dad makes clothes and then sells them to people. He made my clothes too. See? Yeah. You look very cute. And very different from the other young girls in this town. Or any town, really. There's the Orbal Factory. Can we get past? Hello. I haven't seen my boss around recently. I wonder if he's gotten sick or something. Uh-oh. Next mission. Uh... Can we modify? Maybe we can open this. Yay! No, we can't. Wah, wah. Uh, that leads that way. Let's enter this place. That's strange. I would have thought that my husband would be home by now. With my daughter at home now, it seems like we can finally enjoy a meal together as a family for the first time in ages, but... But what? But what? Are you the daughter? I came all the way back here to be with my family, and my father's nowhere to be found. And he's the one you said to come back to boast as soon as possible. What's going on? My mother's worried, so maybe I'll just give a call to the place where he was staying. Oh boy. Family drama. Where even am I? I'll just enter the back way of this other house. That won't creep people out. It's important for people to have hobbies in their old age. So I don't see why you have to get so mad about mine. Don't you realize you're just going to turn into a wrinkled old prune getting angry all the time? But that's not what I'm mad about. The thing I'm mad about is the fact that he doesn't have the decency to say one word before he leaves. What? Happy couple. Very, very happy couple. Most merchants enjoy the freedom of the market system here, but we also have a rule to always keep our word. And for that reason alone, we are very strict about meetings and punctuality. It's certainly been a while since the army clamped down on things. At this point, because of it, we're definitely going to be in the red this month. There's a lot of problems happening in this town. My dad works in the trade business, and our family has been doing the same thing for generations. But I don't think I'm cut out to be a merchant. You can do it, kid. Don't worry. Alright, that just leads there. Uh, is this the block I was in before? The market? What do you think? Do you know? Bos is nearly, if not just as lively as the royal city. We do a lot of trade with merchants from the Empire. In other words, we're not in short supply of, of, of much of anything. Ho ho ho. There's no place like the Bose Market in Grand Sul, that's for sure. Oh yeah, these kids. Happy couple there. 
the mayor's residence. Mr. Mayor! I'm sorry to say this, but the mayor is currently out at the moment. We have some business with her. Could I ask that you come back at a later time? Oh, very well. Okay, let me look behind your house first. Nothing. Uh, what is in this building? A hotel. Be staying at this hotel a lot. Now that the sewers are gone. Got some nice rooms, though. How much? Uh... 60. That's horrible. Welcome! Please enjoy our hotel's atmosphere, which is rich with tradition. Whoops. I'm just so focused on everything. This is a nice town. I'm so busy today. I want to hurry and finish all these terrible jobs and then head out on the town. Head out on the town. Anyone here? No one's staying in any of these rooms. Is this a bad hotel or something? How are you busy when there's no one here? Huh. <sighs> well, whatever. Do what you gotta do, maid. The bar. Hello there. Hey, welcome. Sit wherever you like. Uh, I can't sit down. I can't do it. I'm a scol scholar specializing in the living beings from days long past. And on the subject of peculiar living beings, I encountered the most uniquely swift monster I've ever seen during a recent geological survey. That was along the road in, in West Bosa, if I'm not mistaken. Having never seen such a creature before, I thought to capture it, but it was far too quick for these legs of mine. I best get some more exercise in my daily regimen, I surmise. Cheese risotto. Ah, uh, delicious. Welcome, welcome, order up. We got good food, we got good cheap food that'll make your belly sing with delight. This risotto is frozen! You donkey! Oh, woe is me. <laughs> How did things get like this? I gave up my whole life for that damned workshop. <laughs> that was my hiccup impersonation. Uh, being Mrs. Morano's attendant is exhausting work. But it's precisely because of the power she wields that she's earned the dubious role of Shadow Mare, I suppose. Shadow Mare? What do you know? Sounds complicated. And here's the guild. Wait a minute. The restaurant. Ooh. <clears throat> Good day to you, and welcome to Antero's. Do you have a reservation? Uh, nope. Is this a restaurant, then? Tis as you say, yes. I am the manager, Lecter. I tend to the restaurant's needs while the owner is away. Karen, the best quality ingredients and servers await you amounting to the greatest dining experience of your life. I personally guarantee that if you partake in our delicacies, you will emerge full and satisfied. Please come this way. I will gladly show you to a table. Wow, this guy's got a lot of confidence in his restaurant. And I must admit, it certainly does look like a nice place. Yeah, but he's a bit pushy, don't you think? I mean, when I see this place, my first thought is cha-ching. Well, we'd go broke if we ate here. Haha, <laughs> it's not cheap, that's for certain. If one wished to stay for a full course dinner, let's see. It would require the bounty from 30 large monsters at minimum to gain enough Mira. Yow. Yeah, not for me. Thanks. At that price, I'll gladly go street vendor. Deep fried palm, palm on a stick, palms in a blanket. Well, guess we're not gonna eat here. Welcome, welcome. Here for a good meal? If so, please, let me show you to a table. And then we just walk away. I offer vacation with Marion. We have similar interests and obnoxious amounts of money to spend on them. Though my goal this time was a more... was more than food. One can never have too many... Dine Dial wallets or Rhino Cider salad bowls after all. Are you okay? Maid, person, wait, waitress. 
He's just walking into Joshua. Eh, whatever. We come from the capital for food and shopping. The capital is quite lively, but I must admit, this town gives it a run for its money. I bet. And just more generic. More people. Ooh, here's the chef's orders. Hello. It's amazing how tenacious the head chef is about his flavors. I'm trying to work on my flavors too. I even stayed in the kitchen all night to perfect a new soup recipe. Very nice. To a chef, each and every day is lived in pursuit of flavor. When the flavor stops, it's time to put the kitchen knife down once and for all. One must never be satisfied. Recipes must never stop evolving. Complacency disqualifies you as a chef. A complacent chef is no chef at all, as far as I'm concerned. This guy's pretty intense. It's kind of scaring me. Yeah, he has the eyes of a pro. A really skilled, really psycho sort of pro. Yeah, it's gotta be good. It's gotta be delicious. Simple, rustic, yeah, beautiful. Ocean Chapel. Let's finish that one mission. Well, since we're here. La la la, we're finally here! The day has finally arrived. After my husband is done worshipping here, it's off to Boast Market to bye bye bye! As we were arriving in Boast, the airline air flights were cancelled. And right in the middle of my pilgrimage, too. Poor guy. Hello! Um, excuse me. Huh? Your father Holstein, right? Ho ho ho. Indeed I am, but how may I help you? This is for you. It's a letter from Father Divine and Roland. Ho ho ho, is this for me? Thank you very much for delivering this. However, a letter from Father Divine could only mean... Ah yes, he's come up with a new formula. Eh? A new formula for what? Ho ho ho, don't tell me you didn't know. You don't... didn't know. Father Design is a master of medicine, known throughout Liberal for his skills in the healing arts. In fact, he's well known for this even back when he was in at Grand Cell Cathedral. Really? Even after he took up his new post as a father in Roland, he has continued his research without fail. And when he discovers an effective medicine, he shares his knowledge with the rest of us. We racers also use the medicine created by Father Divine on a daily basis. So in a way, we're being supported in our work from behind the scenes. I had no idea. It would have been nice if he had at least mentioned it to us. But it's just like him not to, since he never talks about himself. Ain't that the truth. Father Divine is very strict with himself. Whenever he admonishes someone, he is always admonishing himself as well. This is one attitude I think all young children these days should learn. Although, it'd be a bit difficult for me to learn at this ripe age. Ho ho ho. Yeah, har har har, or whatever. Well, how about we just try to work hard with overreaching ourselves? I appreciate you coming all the way up from Roland to deliver this letter today. Oh, adios, goddess of the firmament. Please protect these souls as you guide them in their daily lives. Yes! Yes! Quest complete! Victory! Achievement get! Alright, let's go to our... Our base. That's not the place, that's the restaurant. Let's go in, you can do it! <clears throat> hello, hello. Oh, Sherazard! You arrived a lot sooner than I expected. I appreciate you coming all the way from Roland. It's been a while, hasn't it, Lagran? Did someone tell you that we were coming ahead of time? Yes, I received a call from Aina not that long ago. So that means these two kids with you are Cassius's children? Yes, that's right. Uh, it's nice to meet you, sir. I'm Estelle Bright. And I'm Joshua Bright. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Lagran, and I oversee the Boast Red Branch. Your father and I go way back. Please just call me L Legrand. Sure, we'll do that. That said, could you give us a quick update on the missing airliner incident? 
Yes, about that. The Royal Army is still continuing its search. However, with the Army's current restriction on the information, no public updates of the situation have been made. And not only has the general public been kept in the dark, but the Guild hasn't heard a word either. Really? Why not? Aren't the Army and the Guild supposed to be cooperating together? <clears throat> well, that's the way it is on the surface, anyway. But in actuality, there's a lot of opposition between both parties on a number of aspects. So pretty much what you're saying is that it's a bunch of jurisdictional disputes, right? I hate to admit it, but that's the situation. In addition, General Morgan has gotten involved. Did you just say General Morgan? Great. Now it really looks like things are going to be a pain. General Morgan, who's that? He's famous for repelling the Imperial Army's invasion ten years ago. You should have read about him in the history books. Hmm, amazingly enough, I don't recall the name. So what's the big deal with this famous guy anyway? From what I've heard, he's not the biggest fan of the Bracer Guild. Hates Bracers, in fact. It seems he, he even makes a point, he makes it a point to routinely assert that there's no need for a Bracer Guild. Sounds like a real whack job to me. So what you're saying is, is that we're not getting any information because of this general. That's not really important at the moment. What really matters is that the Bracers are being prohibited from entering the regions they are investigating. And because of that, it's causing conflicts with our other work. But, but we just came all the way here from Roland. That's the way it's gonna be, that it's time to deal, duel it out with this general to decide who gets to investigate the incident. Talking like a crazy person, Estelle. Keep your cool, Bracer. There are other ways. <clears throat> Such as, the request we just received from the mayor concerning the incident. She has asked that we conduct an investigative an in investigation from the guild side, separate from the army. Well, that's encouraging news. If it's an official request from the mayor, it, it'll be a great pretext for us to conduct on our own our own investigation. I see. Well, isn't this perfect timing? Well, Gran, we'll accept the mayor's request. That sounds fine by me. But before you go, you two are junior bracers, right? Yeah, why? Junior bracers, so to speak, are members in training registered at various branches. In short, their, performances, their performance is monitored by the branch where they currently registered. And right now, for you two, that would be Roland. So what you're trying to say is that... We have to change our registration if we want to accept jobs here, right? You got it. That's a little annoying. Here, all you need to do is sign on these forms to transfer your registration. Uh, sure? I guess. Our names go here and... Fill out the registration transfer forms. Alright, looks like everything is in order. Junior Bracers, Estelle and Joshua, as of this day at 5.20... Your registration, 1520. At the Boast Branch has been approved. That means you are now members of the Boast Branch. So you, so you know, once you become a senior bracer, you can do any job without being registered to a particular branch. But on the flip side, your duties and responsibilities increase as well. Understood. So pretty much we're still newbies. Well, it looks like now I'll be able to entrust you with the mayor's request. The mayor's residence is near the west gate. You should go there and talk to her directly. We'll do that. Understood. What quest do we have? Revenue monster. A ferocious monster. I'm in a bind right now. I seem to be lacking a certain cooking ingredient. Tender poultry times five. Seeker and East Boast Monster. I think I know what that is. Yep. Known as the King Scorpion. Oh boy. How about that one quest we have? Yay! You managed to achieve your objective. Alright, let's visit the mayor's place. Uh, where was it again? Did I lose it? It. Do you know where it is, lady? Mrs. Lady? Oh yeah, it was here. 
Duh. Never mind. I was joking. I was seeing if all of you were paying attention, and you were. Good job. Do you kids know where it is? No. Oh, here we go. We'll talk to the mayor. Wow. Now this is... Isn't this a gorgeous place? Check out that crazy expensive looking chandelier. Chandelier here. Calm down, Estelle. It looks like this is the mayor's place, all right. Now I just wonder if she's home. There she is. Oh, do we have visitors? Welcome to the Bosa's mayor residence. May I ask who you are, please? We're with the Bracer Guild. The mayor made a request to the guild, and we've come here to inquire about the details. Well, I have heard from the mayor that we would be expecting you. However, I am sorry to inform you that the mayor is currently out at the moment. She has gone to worship at the chapel. When do you expect her back, sir? Well, let me see. <coughs> Actually, I would imagine her to be making a return any moment now. Well, we're kind of in a hurry to meet her. You think it would be alright to call her on her at the chapel? Well, I don't wish to inconvenience you. Don't worry. It would probably save the both of us some trouble. But if you don't mind me asking, what does the mayor look like? Like the typical wealthy person? Big hat with feathers in it? Dripping gemstones from every pore? Feathers? Gemstone from every... What? Um, how colorful, but quite off the mark, I assure you. How would I describe her? Should I say she looks splendid, or... Should I say she looks beautifully mature? If she could just find the right man, then I could retire in peace. Huh? Uh, never mind. I was just thinking out loud. Ah yes, this may help. The mayor has a maid accompanying her. That might be the easiest way to find her. The mayor is being accompanied by a maid, huh? That sounds easy enough to find in, in a crowd of people. Let's go hurry and head over to the chapel. Let's go! To the chapel! Yeah! Woo! It's close by, too. Right there. Uh, there's the maid. Oh, there you are. You're the maid we've been looking for. And you are? Estelle, that wasn't very polite. My apologies. We're with the Bracer Guild. We're looking for the mayor so we can confirm the details of a job which she requested. Oh, I see. Please, let me introdu introduce myself. I am her maid, Lila. I see to the mayor's daily needs. Being served hand and foot, huh? The worlds we live in are really different. So where's the mayor, if you don't mind me asking? Didn't she come here to pray? She's playing hooky from her religious duties. Huh? Sir, she's probably in the middle of inspecting the situation in the market. She took off after telling me to pray for her, too. I don't know how I should say this, but the mayor seems like she has quite a unique personality. Haha! <laughs> well, she doesn't sound interesting. And, yeah, even if she weren't the mayor, I'd be kind of intrigued. Doesn't she sound interesting? <coughs> there is no doubt she's a capable person. Although she does have a bit of an unrestrained aspect to her at times. Anyway, I'm on my way to meet her right now. I don't mean to sound impolite, but would you mind waiting at her residence? I will let her know you're there. Uh, I don't know how I feel about going back there. Empty-handed. Would it be alright if we came along with you instead? Come with me to meet the mayor? Well, I guess it's okay. Let's make our way over to the Bose Market then. We have the maid on our team. She will be the most effective member yet. Alright. Hey, Dorothy. Wow, this place is really huge, even though we were just in it. I wonder where the mayor is. Well, she does stand out in a crowd, so I'm sure you'll find her right away. Oh, just as I thought. The two of you should be absolutely ashamed of yourselves. Trying to force up the price of food at a time like this by buying it all up? You're not fit to be merchants and boasts. But ma'am, 
We were just thinking about how to increase sales for the boast market in general. I don't want to hear any more from you. If it were other products, it would be a different story, but making undue profits on necessities will lead to negative publicity for the market. Return these goods to their original prices at once. Alright, we'll do as you say. Now, I don't doubt your passion for the boast market, but I want you to understand this. Commerce, when you get right down to it, is the established relationship of trust between people. And believe me, if you do business with that in mind, you can become wonderful merchants in Bose. Yes, ma'am. We'll do our best. Bye bye Idiots. Woo! Madame. Madam. Mademoiselle. Lila, so you came, huh? I'm sorry you had to see that side of me. Actually, you did a wonderful job as always. But never mind that. These people are here to see you. Please come back home immediately. Oh, the emblem is. Could you be the bracers I requested? Yes, that's us, but... So does that mean that you're... Hehe, <laughs> forgive me for not introducing myself. My name is Maybell. I'm the owner of this market and the mayor of the Bose region. <coughs> Ooh, we're eating at the restaurant. This restaurant looks super expensive. Are we really going to have a meeting here? I often use this place for business meetings. The food is quite good, too. I'll tell you what, though. I had heard the mayor of Bose was a woman, but I never imagined you would be this young. Based on looks alone, I would have guessed that you're only four or five years older than me. Actually, I still feel like I'm nothing more than an unworthy, unworthy successor to my father. My late father was a previous mayor, and all I had and all I did was inherit the rights to the Bose market and the political foundation which he set up. That's a rather unvarnished self-evaluation if I've ever heard one. After all, I'm just the daughter of a businessman, so, th so there's no sense in getting a in getting high hat about that. But anyway, would it be all right to go over the details of my request with you again? Sure, that'd be fine. Well, what I would like to ask that you do is to investigate the disappearance of the missing airship and bring closure to the incident. I am of the opinion that bracers would bring about a much more desirable result concerning this incident that the army is currently producing. The reason being, we're not fighting a war, we're trying to find answers and solve a mystery. Well, I for one would be honored, but don't you think you're overrate, overrating us just a bit? Eh, just call it a businesswoman's prerogative. The fact of the matter is, an influential businessman was aboard the airliner that disappeared. In addition, if the Royal Army continues to keep the Bose airspace as a no-fly zone, business is going to suffer. And just when business has been booming prior to the Queen's birthday celebration, too. I see. So this is an economic appeal, right? Yes, and it's something which I can't trust to be left up to the Army alone. So what do you think? Will you help my request for your help? Will you accept my request for your help in the matter? Well, we have our own reasons for wanting to investigate the incident, and we'd like to accept the job, but the army has actively been trying to exclude bracers from anything having to do with the incident. So, uh, I don't suppose you could pull, pull the mayor card for us, could you? Maybe show the army who's running the show? Excluding bracers, huh? This must have something to do with General Morgan, then. That man has disliked bracers from the beginning. So you know who the general is, Mayor Maybell? He was a friend of my late father's. Tentatively speaking, we have a passing acquaintance with one another. So, I may just be able to do something for you. Meaning, Lila. Yes, madam. Sheet of paper, fountain pen... I guess this should be sufficient. Here, please take this with you. What's this letter for? It's a letter of request to General Morgan. It is to inform him of my request for information about the incident at the... as the official... Oh my gosh. As the official responsible for the region. I think this should be enough to get some information out of the army. 
I see. But I wonder if that bracer-hating general will ever will even meet with us at all. I think it would be a pretty safe bet, as long as you hide your identities. You would probably best serve by saying that you are messengers from or for the mayor. I don't know if I like the sound of that. It feels like we're lying or something. It's not lying. We're, we'd just not be telling him everything. Since this is a time-sensitive situation, I think we should be practical about it. I guess you're right, Joshua. By the way, where do we need to go meet General Morgan? There's a fort called the Hacken Gate on the international border to the north of Bose. You should be able to find the general there. Very well. Alright everyone, I'm counting on you. You just leave everything to us. If we find out anything, we'll come and let you know. I'll be looking forward to some good news. Goodbye and have a wonderful day. Goodbye! Seems like a nice mare. Pretty good. Why is she just standing there? Alright, let's get going, shall we? The Hacken Gate is at the end of the Eisen Road to the north of the East Bose Highway. In short, we need, to, we need to head out the East Gate and then turn north thereafter, right? Alrighty then, Hacken Gate, here we come. However, I think I'm going to end it here for this video and this stream. We did a lot. We got through the first chapter. We solved the mayor's mystery of who kidnapped the gem. And we made it to a new town. I hope those who watch this video enjoy it. And I hope to see you next time. Until then, I'm going to keep circling around these kids, annoying them. I'm just going to stand and just hover around them a little bit, and I'm going to save the game. Chapter 1. Wow. Almost 10 hours into the game, and I'm at Chapter 1. Alright, that's it for me. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye!